Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to quickly show off version 4 of my wood lathe. Version 4 brings several improvements of the version 3, including fixing some issues, some aesthetic changes, and some new parts. To begin, changes to the headstock. On the new headstock, the slope of the old headstock has been removed to make more space. While this slope was pleasing to look at with the three pulley design, it was realistically pointless and just made it hard to move the belt. The slope also needed to be removed to accommodate the new pulley I made, shown here. This new pulley includes two mounting holes instead of one, and only one track instead of three. While the three tracks looked nice, it was completely pointless and I never used it. So I designed a new pulley that is better suited to the belt I used. Also in the headstock region, I made a safety cover for the collet chuck. I used these larger bolts because I lost the grub screws and thought I may as well make a guard to make it a little safer. Two final changes up this end of the lathe include making one of the rod holes 0.5mm larger as it was undersized before and fixing up the back side of the connector piece. These holes were relics from when this was part of the mill and while they didn't impact function, how they were designed has always irked me so I removed them for this version. On to the other end of the lathe, there has only been one change, the addition of this hole here for a nut. This is to make tightening the tailstock a little more convenient. Previously I had to use a spanner, now the nut is captive. I also replaced my live centre with a new one. No real design changes here, it's just a little bit longer and slightly more pointy. To finish up this overview, the one new feature of this version, the adjustable tool rest. This was, apart from being told to clamp the whole setup down, the most common feedback I received on the previous versions. And it's here now. Not height adjustable unfortunately, but it can move in and out to be closer to the workpiece. The old tool rest was just a rod that ran the length of the lathe, and could not be adjusted. Anyways, that's all for this overview. I probably won't be doing a new build video for the whole thing, maybe just for the tool rest. Um, the old build video is still almost entirely accurate. Uh, thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you in another video.